Good morning, modern steaders. I want to try to get the roof rafters set today. The skies over there aren't looking too promising. I checked the weather, they're calling for thunderstorms today. So we'll have to see how much we can get done. We don't want to work in the thunderstorms. <laughs> Look at all them apples. Every time it rains, we get loaded with them. Getting a bellyache yet from all the apples? Good morning. You guys ever gonna use the bunk bed? You don't ever go up there, do you? Did you guys sleep good? Huh? Did you sleep good? You got plenty of hay in here still. The weather has been funky here this week. It's been warm, but not too warm. But when it has been very humid, whether it's warm or not, at night when it's cool out, it is so humid you just feel wet and sticky. Ugh. Can't wait till the humidity breaks. We've been working behind the scenes on quite a few things lately. And one of them should be launching, I hope within less than a week, the first place we're going to launch it is on our Instagram and Facebook page. So if you guys don't follow us on Instagram or Facebook, I'll leave a link in the description down below. We'll get some pretty cool things in the works, guys. I'm excited about them. It's been taking quite a while to get it all figured out and get the plans in motion, but it's going to be happening soon, guys. I hope you like it. Thank you, Willow. Aha! <laughs> Another two cups. Thank you, girl. The girls may make some more pudding pops with this. You ready to go find an apple? This one. Good. Did you find your morning apple there, Willow? She did. Mama got her morning apple. I was like, I'm not letting you kids nurse until I finish my apple. I wonder if that's like us and our coffee. <laughs> we can't get nothing done till we have our morning cup of coffee. The meat birds are looking for their breakfast. Slow down, stay over here. Got a lot of the moss over here all scratched up and aerated. All right, we charged up a bunch of batteries last night. I need our framing nail gun, our impact. Ah, oh, whenever you're doing construction projects, it seems like everything's in such a mess if you guys are doing any remodeling or construction i'm sure you can relate all right let's go grab our framing nail gun oh, i'm gonna need this nail gun this morning shorter structural screws for today's job. Bless you. 
So we gotta find the ridge pole and then we're gonna need those rafters. I think the ridge pieces, ridge pole are over there under that tarp. They're a one by 10, I believe. So we're gonna take the front rafter, we're gonna attach it to the top plate and then we're gonna, we'll do two of them like 10 feet apart. And then we're gonna attach the ridge pole to one side. And then we'll do the back long rafters and we'll just keep staggering them. All right, let's find the ridge poles. I'm pretty sure they're right here. I think I left them on top. Yep. Nice. All right, so one of them says end, and one of them, it's gonna be a joint. We want to go crown up. Go like this. It is wet. Oh, you got your free range coffee. Mm -hmm. you can eat some too. I believe this ridge pole's 10 feet long. Yes. So I'm going to mark 10 feet. What's that? It, it was you? Where was it? In the cup cutter. Oh. Alright, so 10 feet's gonna go to here. So I wanna put this one in first and that one in first. Short ones and some of these. Bring these over. Gonna be our front rafters. What's that? Are you around the, roof part the salt box pitch? No. This is new. All right. I don't know yet. You gotta figure out how to attach it. What's that? Nope. This one does not hang over at all. I'm going to have you go on the inside with one of these long lags and lag it in from up underneath. Inside where? Inside the building. Go for it. That's good. Yep. I'm going to have some of them. I love those timber locks. Just one of those, it's like so secure. Okay, you go get your sunglasses. There we go. Get that one down there next. You have to go on this side. All right, go for it. Good. Nice. Did you do that on the other one? I did. Yeah. So I'm gonna need you in here. Where? Right on this ladder. I'm gonna need you on this ladder. Yeah, I'm gonna get on the staging. I didn't know how to get all the way up yet. I want you to hold your end on that rafter flush to the outside. Can you flip it all the way up? Yep, and then flush on the very outside. Good. You good? Yeah. Don't push. I'm not gonna push. Hold on. What's that? Oh, I don't want to push that. Coming up here with you. Nice! So now we can set two long ones. They'll go on the back and then they'll go right here. And then we can stagger them. So 
I need one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna set up two for now and see what is the best way to get them into position. Don't go in the building just yet. Want to make sure it don't fall off that post. You want it to the edge? Ah, oh, yup. I want it to the edge. Ah, oh, nice. I like it. What's that? I didn't know if that was not a good. Oh. No, it was. It was a sigh of relief because we got the first one done. Oh, the first screw in so it'll stay it hold itself you can leave that one like that we'll go all the way over to this far end and we'll put this other one up You should be all set for a minute. I don't think I'm gonna. Boom. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. I think this is uh, one of those caterpillars that goes after tomatoes. Is it green? It's... Oh my gosh, it's a snake. It's lime green, look at the horn. Yeah, what is that called? Uh, that is a horn. What is that thing? It's on the horn. You got your phone out here? <laughs> Did the chickens like it? Did you get it on video? I'll have that video on Instagram. All right, let's get some screws started first. I'll lag them this way. One. No, it don't kill chickens. Chickens kill it and eat it. So we're gonna take this one. Whew. Flush. I like it right there. Sweet. All right, we're gonna do the same thing to the next one. Nope, it's good right where it is. I like it right there. Let's send it home now. Perfect. That works nicely. Good there. Boom. All right. Yeah, whenever you're ready, go for it. Nice. Yep, that's good. Sucked it down nicely. And then let me know when you're ready for the next one. I'll push it nice and tight. Nice. Is that good? Yep, perfect. I like it. I like it a lot. Start down a little bit further. Perfect. 
This one I'll have to push a little bit, so let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Ready? Okay, hold on. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Nice. Nice and tight fit. This next one's when, ready whenever you're ready. It's already tight. And then we'll jump on the front and we'll get the front rafter set. All right, we'll grab two more short ones. Start it this time. Okay, whenever you're ready. Nice. Whenever you are ready. Did I get it? Yep. not going anywhere. I can't watch you. What's that? Oh. You can't watch? Ah. All right, so now we can set that end rafter like this, and then we can put our other ridge pole in, and we can get the rest of them set. And hopefully we can get this all done before it rains today. It's going to be... Or just coming off the trees. Oh. Get it? I got it. Is that what we did last time? No. All right, can you hold your end? Now we'll set the long back rafters. So we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five. We'll set those five and then we'll come back and we'll do the short front ones after. Push it towards the house. There you go. Like it just like that. Okay. Yeah, whenever you're ready. Next one's ready whenever you are. Couple of really long ones for the very, the very end rafters. Oh my god. Put them in. Perfect. 
I like it. We just have four left, right? One, two, yep, three, four. I'll go get the ladder and then we'll get those going. Perfect. Perfect. Whenever you're ready, start it and then I'll get. How's that look? You like it? Once you get it started, I'll push, but I'll wait till you get started. Okay. I, I like it. I think one was ever going to go in. <laughs> well, your figure is 10 inches long, so it's going all the way into here. Yeah, but I can't use two hands. Like, you're going through your rafter, your, <gasps> the two top 4x4s beams, and then you're getting into the 4x4 four four post. <sighs> I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like it. I like it a lot. And with driving all those lags, we still have two bars left out of three. So I just got to go around and toenail these back rafters okay. and we got it done before it rained. I like the look of it. I like the salt box roof. I've never installed one of those before. That's going to look nice. And we'll extend it out to here and we'll have a spot to park a car or a Kubota or some kind of farm equipment. What do you think of the woodshed? I like it. You like it? Figaro is hanging out over there. Says I do. It's a new hiding spot. Yep, I think they ate all their hay. Did you got? Did you boys eat all your hay? No, they still got plenty of hay in their hay cheeser. Oh They're yeah. Very cool leaf, red and green. Oh yeah. You still had hay left. You still had plenty of hay left. Kind of neat. Yeah. Too bad you couldn't save it somewhere like that. Mhm. Mm it's like in between seasons. I don't want fall, but it's still not summer. Yeah. I think the rain's gonna come back. Aw oh, man. I know, right? Hi, Hopey. What are you doing, Hope? Say hello to the camera. Say hello to the camera. Hopey. Hopey. Thank ya. Hi, goats. Hello, goats. Willow wanted to make a run for it. Let's hope she gets some apples. She sure did. We caught you off the path. What the heck? Why is there a dog out there? Well, if he sees a deer in the field, I don't know if we can zoom it fast enough. See it running, guys? At first I thought it was a dog because I saw the tail and it's like super there long. There it goes. It's like a little baby. Okay. Surprise, there's only one. Go. There goes the other one. There's usually three. I wonder if we'll see a third one. I think the first one was like a baby. It's been a mama and her last year's babies. Guess that's it. Just two today. That was pretty cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> good eye, good eye. Well, I thought it was a dog running in the field and I was like, why is there a dog here? And then I realized it was a deer. Because mom threw out a big old horn-wormed caterpillar today for the chickens. Yeah. 
If you want to see the video, you'll have to go watch it on Instagram. That's where mom's putting it. Yo. Hi, Rudy. Oh my. Four, six. Eight. 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 Ten. Eight. Twelve. Fourteen. Fourteen. I like it. We're gonna have to change our shavings. Yep. I found one of the tricks when working with the Jamaica Cottage Shop kits is to keep everything organized. Go through the lumber, put it in an area you're gonna know where everything is, and then when you go into build, you know where it is, you can grab it, lay it out, and it just goes so nice and smooth. Definitely a little trick and tip that I learned when building the barn. We're having a blast building the firewood shed, it's going together so smooth. Using the timber locks just holds everything together so nicely. I really like the look of it. We don't got to use any hurricane straps that way. I like it. Thanks for coming along on the journey with us, guys. You're a true blessing to us in our homestead. One of the things we've been working on behind the scenes is making a new merchandise store and coming up with some new designs and artwork. And that should be coming out later on this week. I'm gonna have a, the first place we're gonna promote that is on Instagram and Facebook. So I'll have a link in the description down below to our Instagram account so you guys can follow us there but I'm excited one of the designs is from one of you one of you viewers I can't wait to you guys see it I think you'll really love it we do there's quite a few of them that we've come up with that we really like so I hope you guys enjoy it if you don't make mistakes you aren't really trying man that's just a great quote and a mistake isn't a mistake it's just a learning lesson it's just a curveball just roll with the punches figure it out and we'll do it better next time Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. We'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.